China's latest lunar journey is leaving a strong mark at the International Astronautical Congress, the IAC 2025. Now you can see a lot of people gathering behind me. What you're seeing are the lunar samples brought by Chinese lunar missions. Part of these are the Chang'e 6 and Chang'e 5 mission. And here one more thing to mention is that the Chang'e 6 mission is the exact one that was awarded the recent IAF top award, the World Space Award. Chinese delegates presented a detailed report on the Chang'e 6 mission's scientific breakthroughs. Crucially, they officially opened the international application process for the second batch of lunar samples brought back from the Chang'e 5 mission. So far, over 200 scientific papers have been published using China's lunar samples, revealing new insights into the moon's origin and evolution. Following the successful distribution of the first batch of Chang'e 5 lunar samples this year, we are now opening the international application process for the second batch. We welcome all interested international scientists to apply to study these samples with us. China's lunar exploration program is not just a technological undertaking. It is an international one. The moon belongs to all humanity, and we should explore it together to expand the frontiers of human knowledge and benefit all people. I have a presentation These too. missions have generated huge anticipation, with researchers eager to uncover the secrets hidden in those historic samples. And it's really nice that the Chinese Space Agency is releasing these data and presenting these data and their findings publicly, um, helping not just their organization, but agencies around the world as well. They're all benefiting from what Chinese Space Agency is doing. This spirit of cooperation is fundamental to China's future lunar missions, which will feature even more global collaboration. This includes a focus on studying the moon's south pole. China's China 8 mission, scheduled for launch around 2028, has allocated 200 kilograms of payload capacity for international partners. This effort will see Africa make history as its first lunar mission, Africa to Moon, prepares to launch aboard China 8. And our ambitions is about inspiring um, young South Africans um, to take up um, science, technology, engineering, mathematics, and innovation through the ILS missing Chang'ing 8. If the payload, you can imagine what that will do to young people, not just in South Africa, but um, also in the African continent. And we're hoping that um, next year we would also start looking at um, um, the, the, um, the manned missions, um, where we hope that um, we can begin to train our young um, women in particular um, to become future taikonauts. We are pushing to your, our universities and the institute, institute for changing the lun, lunar missions and other missions. So one of them is the now is the or one university is make a one project. We will send one payload to the Chang'e 8. Of course, to make the more, we need the cooperations. As the Sydney Congress draws to a close, one message resonates above all. The future of space depends on stronger global cooperation, for the universe knows no borders.